Hi, this is Dr. Kothari from e Research Academy. Friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel. So friend, today we are going to start a new topic that is on correlation. Though we have started this correlation as a theoretical course in our previous lecture that is being uploaded there in YouTube channel. And today uh, we are just discussing the various types of correlation and they are they are their formula to calculate and that and their cases where this these formulas are applied. Okay, so let's start. So friends, we have two types of data. The first one is the numerical data or continuous data. Okay, so we have first numerical data or continuous data. And second we have non-numerical or grouped data or grouped data. Okay. These grouped data are also known as categorical data. Categorical data. Okay. So we have the different different methods to calculate correlation value under these nominal uh, numerical and uh, categorical data. Okay. If you talk about the continuous data, the very Fashionable method that is used here in calculating the correlation is Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. Okay, so this Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is also known as Carl Pearson's product moment coefficient of correlation. Okay, as well as the bivariate, bivariate method of correlation, a bivariate correlation. Okay, so Carl Pearson's first used this formula in his, in his study in 1896. Okay, so since then this method is very very useful in statistics for, for measuring the level of or degree of relationship between two continuous variables. Okay. So Carl Pearson's developed different formula to find the value of correlation in different different cases. If we talk about these cases, these are one in a population. Okay. So the population correlation is calculated by population correlation denoted by rho okay is simply covariance upon x sorry covariance of x and y upon standard deviation of x times standard deviation of y okay so this is the formula of correlation in case of the population okay so if we are given the population of x and the population of y variable so we can have the correlation between these two variables and this is denoted by rho the formula becomes covariance of x y upon covariance of sorry way this is standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y okay b we have sample correlation sample correlation okay so for finding the sample correlation we have different method say first one by actual mean by actual mean okay so when actual mean comes in absolute point and our dx and our dy becomes zero we can apply this formula and here the correlation is denoted by small r okay so small r becomes sigma xy upon under root sigma x square into sigma y square okay. right so here this this is the summation of the deviation of x times deviation of y divided by the square of deviation x into the square of deviation y and the summation of this one. okay so this gives you the correlation of the sampled items of variable x and variable y. Okay. So second we have 
assume the mean method or by assume the mean by assume mean okay so assume the mean method is used when actual mean is not in a in an absolute term or it comes in a decimal point okay and hence this is in decimal point and deviation taken from this actual mean becomes also in a decimal and the calculation becomes quite tough or tedious okay and it takes a time as well so we have another alternative to find this one by assume the mean in this case we have to assume a mean in both of the series and get the correlation value okay so here correlation becomes n sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy upon under root sigma this is n n times sigma dx square minus sigma dx whole square into this same is used for y series n times sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square okay so this is the formula under the assumed mean method right so third we have the direct method third we have the direct method this is 1 2 third we have direct method under this sample correlation okay direct method here the correlation is calculated by the same method that is given here in assumed mean but by actual value the formula becomes sigma x n sigma x y minus sigma x sigma y upon square root of n sigma x square minus sigma x whole square into n sigma y square minus sigma y whole square so this is the formula under the direct method okay this formula is the easiest formula to calculate the correlation under the sample correlation method okay so here we take the direct value rather taking the deviation from the actual or assumed mean okay so that is why this method becomes quite easy to calculate the correlation value okay so these three are, are the method under the sample correlation or under the numerical or continuous data by pearson's correlation method okay and under population we have this formula right so if you talk about the grouped data or categorical data so we generally use the rank correlation there okay so rank correlations are used in categorical data or simply grouped data right so we have again few methods they are to calculate the correlation under the grouped data the first method that is very uh, often used is spearman rank correlation spearman's rank correlation okay so spearman's rank correlation is applied in ordinal data and this is the ordinal association between two uh, categorical data right so the formula under spearman rank correlation becomes r equal to it is denoted by capital r here 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n bracket is start n square minus 1 so this is the formula under the spearman's rank correlation okay but again this formula is also conditional okay so under spearman rank correlation there are certain condition say condition a when ranks are given in the question b when ranks are not given in the question c when ranks are not given when ranks are not given but no repetition repetition of ranks when assigned 
So when we assign the rank, so there is no repetition of the rank AC and KSB becomes when there is when ranks are not given but repetition repetition when ranks are assigned okay so when we assign rank to the given observations so there are repetition of the rank okay so these four conditions can be there in experiments rank correlation so for first three cases we have the same formula that is r is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n n square minus 1 but for case d we have the new formula here okay so it is that is r is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square okay up to here the formula is same plus 1 by 12 this is m1 cube minus this is m1 okay then then plus again 1 by 12 m2 cube minus m2 plus so on okay and upon this is the same term that we applied here in first cases n n square minus n okay so these m's are number of reputation or number of values these are repeating okay <coughs> So, if there are two repetition, we will go for the only two terms. If we have three, we will go for the third one also. If four, we will go for the fourth as well. Okay, 1 by 12, then m4 is u minus m. Okay, so this formula becomes lengthy as for the repetition of the ranks. Okay, if only two ranks are repeating, then we will go for the two times, three for three times, four for four times. And how many times they are repeated? This comes under the M. Okay, if any rank is repeating, repeated by three times, so M will become three. If it is repeating by two times, M will become two. Okay, if it repeated by four times, M will become four here. Okay, so this M is repeated terms of the rank. Two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay, so this is the formula under the fourth case when repeated ranks are given under the experiments rank correlation okay so second method we have kendall's tau okay kendall's tau to calculate the correlation in the categorical data or under the non parametric method okay so under non parametric second method is kendall's tau right so this is first one is Spearman rank correlation. And second one is Kendall Tau. Okay. This is T A U Tau. Okay. So Kendall in the year nineteen thirty eight thirty eight used this technique to measure the correlation between the ordinal data and measure the ordinal association between the variables okay the two variables ordinal association it measure the ordinal association between two variables okay two variables Third, we have and the formula is this Kendall tau is here that is C minus D upon C plus D. Formula becomes C plus D. Okay. Third, we have Goodman and 
good man and crucial and crucial okay so good man and crucial from 1954 to 1972 1954 1972 they did so many study and use this non parametric correlation there or non parametric method of correlation okay or rank correlation in their study since then this method of finding correlation in the not normally distributed data or a grouped data okay uh, okay and this is known as Goldman and Kruskal's tau. Sorry, uh, this is gamma. So Goldman and Kruskal's gamma measures the strength of association of cross-tabulated ordinal variables. Okay, cross-tabulated ordinal variables. If they are, this measures the strength between these two variables. Okay, and fourth we have. fourth we have somers somers says it is b delta okay so somers delta measures the association between two possibly dependent ordinal variables okay so it measures generally the agreement or disagreement the level of agreement and disagreement between two paired categorical variables so these are the four methods under the grouped or or non parametric method or grouped data or categorical data okay so friend these were the techniques or methods while calculating the correlation under different cases and these methods we will discuss in the numerical portions in the coming videos Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day and God bless you.